removed. The first barriers at the heart of Hong Kong's Occupy Central. But this time, court bailiffs appointed to remove them in the government's latest effort to take back streets from pro-democracy protesters. Police on standby in case force is needed, but clearly instructed not to do any of the heavy lifting. Acting on legal injunctions, bailiffs took apart and hauled away barricades piece by piece throughout the day. For the past seven weeks, barriers had stood outside this skyscraper, Siddick Tower, delineating a protest area border in the city's central business district of Admiralty and across the street from Hong Kong's government headquarters. But on this day, with journalists and their cameras outnumbering protesters, the mood was calm. I understood that, but um, I emotionally think it's not acceptable. It's strange that like the protesters here are now, uh, the, the gesture is like retreating, is they're not fighting. It's about 50 days, so I think that's totally fine, and I totally understand that uh, the company would like to make this list. On Monday, Hong Kong's Information Services Department posted this notice of impending action, saying police are ready to help bailiffs execute the injunction order on the blockage of access to Siddick Tower tomorrow. Uh, this well-known pro-democracy legislator explained the lack of protester pushback. People uh, do not want to have any confrontation uh, with the police, so we have already allowed them to clear uh, part of the area. So uh, I think you can see that actually the Occupy uh, 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 movement is very much of a restraint and uh, willing to uh, uh, give up some of the space uh, in order for uh, the, um, uh, this building uh, to sort of normalize. Today's clearing just a small section of where the Occupy Central protests are taking place. Two more court injunctions exist for other pro-democracy protest sites, setting the stage for more clearances like this in the near future. Don't go out and